All right guys, this is David. And this video is the ultimate garage makeover for my 2021 Tesla Model Y performance. So this is the finished product. Well, I say almost finished, but I, I searched around for all kinds of ideas and videos and, and whatnot on, on my, for my own garage. And so I thought I would put together um, you know, a bunch of photos to a video uh, of the process of what, what I went through to kind of create the ultimate garage um, that's in a reasonable uh, budget. <laughs> uh, so anyway, and I did most all this myself. Um, I did a few things I did hire and I'll let you guys know what I hired and what I didn't hire out. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'll show you guys some, some beginning photos, just a rough garage. Um, and let me explain real quick of what all I did. Um, as you can see, on the back wall is what I call Tesla Red. It's not the actual name, and I found that out, guys, because I went to, to the paint store and said, is there a Tesla Red? And they looked at me like I was crazy. So there's not a Tesla Red. But I did find a Red, and actually I'll, um, I'll take a picture of the, of the can if you guys want to know what that color is and I'll put that down in the, in the description below. Because it actually took me a little bit to find that red. <laughs> so, so anyway, I'll tell you about what we did in this, in this garage. It's not a big garage. As you can see, we have one car here, and then my wife parks right here. So it's a slim two-car garage. So um, the first thing I did is I wanted to clean up the ceiling. So as you can see, we had some nice four-inch can lights. So what we did, is, or what I did, is I wanted to clean up the ceiling and get rid of all the wiring and junk uh, that the garage door was, was taken up. And so we have a typical garage door, but I didn't want to see the garage door opener on the ceiling. So what we did is we removed that. Your typical garage door opener is in the ceiling. Usually, you guys, you're used to seeing it mount right on the middle of the garage door. And we went with a side-mounted um, garage door opener. It's still got MyQ technology. It's made by LiftMaster. Uh, so we have the same keypads and um, key fobs, all those sort of things. But it's mounted right, it's actually right over there. <laughs> and I'll actually, I'll, I'll, I'll take a photo of it or a video of it just so you guys see. Uh, but I believe it's the 8500. Uh, it's got battery backup. It's really nice. Um, but it's very clean and small and it's mounted right on the pole that goes across that lifts up the garage door. So it cleaned up my whole ceiling by not having that junk up there. So once we got that done and it moved over there, obviously we had to add an outlet over there for it to uh, plug into. But then we started cleaning up the rest of the ceiling by, you know how, <laughs> if you have an older house, this house is built in mid 80s, there was one single light in the middle of the garage. So obviously this showroom garage makeover needed more than that. <laughs> so we got rid of that. So then it cleaned up the, like I said, the rest of the ceiling and we had six four inch can lights put into the ceiling. And uh, we went with uh, LED bulbs. Um, so they're nice and bright. And to be able to control the light, something really simple guys, we wanted <laughs> just the, the ease and we, we, my wife loves it well lit. So we wanted the ability to, whenever we come into the garage from the house, from that door right there, or if the garage door opens, that the lights automatically come on. Super easy, guys. So all we did was a Lutron switch to a Lutron uh, motion detector in the ceiling. I know there's probably other ways to do it, but we have a control system for the rest of the house. So, so we thought, Lutron would be the easiest way to control these lights with the third party control system and standalone to have a motion detector nice flush mounted in the ceiling and it's mounted right here. So as soon as we open that door, lights come on and if it senses no motion for five minutes, then they go off. It's just a cool, easy feature for the garage. So, and my wife loves to have it well lit. So this is something cool. So after we did all the ceiling, um, Next thing that we did was the supercharger over there. You can't see it and I'll show you guys what that looks like, but the Tesla supercharger is over there. And what we did is we cut the sheetrock and then the electrician ran his wire to uh, the breaker, my electrical panel's right over there. 
So now that we've you know, cleaned up the ceiling with all the wiring, now we have cut holes in the sheetrock over there. Um, after that, then we have the sheetrock guys come out. And that's one thing I did hire out because I can replace sheetrock, but me, not very good at texturing and make it all look like it never happened. <laughs> so there's guys that do a much better job at that, and that's what we did. So we, we had all the walls retextured, mudded, so it, you know, it looks like the inside of a house, I guess, uh, so that we could paint it later. So now the next thing I did is, I don't know if you see this cabinet over here, it's painted black. So it's a double door cabinet and on the end is a single door. And actually I'll, I'll open those up later guys and I'll show you what I did there. So because I wanted this to be a showroom garage for my makeover, I wanted no equipment to be seen. I wanted just nice cabinetry and cars. That's it. So inside of that, again, I'll show you guys what that looks like. This is my lawn mower. We have a real mower. Um, it's a McLean. And then we have over in that side cabinet, the weed eater, edger, blower. Um, I think we have like a shovel. So we have some, you know, we have the stuff to clean the garage with. We have the mops, uh, squeezies, um, broom. Uh, and then we have some shelves built. And I built all that. And some shelves are built above just to store miscellaneous things like paint and, and extra blades for the uh, edger and all that kind of stuff. So now that's nice and clean. Now, as you see here, and I'll show you, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this part too. So on that red wall, it's, it's a lot of red, but right there in the middle between the door and the cabinet, we're gonna put this, it's a three by three uh, Tesla logo uh, <laughs> that's gonna be backlit. And I'm gonna put it on another switch to tie in with that same motion detector. So anytime that someone opens the door, not only turns on these lights, it's gonna turn on the backlit lights on the logo. So it should be super cool. Uh, I wanna make sure that it wasn't always on, but I wanna make sure when someone came in that it was looking its best with the lights on. So something simple to do with LEDs. It's not gonna cost a lot to, to run it. So, and then once we did that, then one of the last things we did um, oh, let me take one step back. So I did the cabinet, I did the trim. So then I did, most, <laughs> most garages don't always have baseboards. So what I did is I put in baseboards to go across the bottom because I thought it would look nice and clean. Again, I'm not trying to make this look like a showroom. Um, just something simple to do. Um, so I ran four inch baseboards all the way around. So I want to paint those black. So when I met with the company, um, to do the flooring, we did an epoxy floor. Now guys, there's tons of different ways to do floors out there. And I'm not gonna begin to tell you all this stuff, but I know in my own situation, I did not have perfect concrete. So I was gonna do a polished floor. I was gonna do a, like a epoxy metallic type floor, but there were so many issues with my concrete, with cracks and imperfections, it was not gonna look very good. So um, I'll, like I said, I'll link the description below to the company that I use here locally in Oklahoma, and I would definitely, definitely guys, highly recommend them. Um, super just thorough. Um, it took them several days to do it because they were just trying to be precise with everything that they did, and I'm thoroughly pleased with them. So I would highly recommend them. So anyway, we wanna do something a little bit different. So we did an epoxy floor, but I wanted to do a custom color epoxy with different colored flakes and types of flakes and I want to do a border on the edge. So if you see, I don't know if you can see this, I can see a little bit in there. At the very end, there's a border we have that goes all the way around the edge and it matches on the inside seam of the rails to the garage door. So kind of a cool you know, detail, but then in the, in the mix, we have, it's a dark gray, it's a heather gray, and I can also put a description in, or information down below as far as the percentage of the flakes that we did for this mix on the epoxy but it's, it's partial grays, two types of grays. It's like a dark, I think it's called dark charcoal gray. Uh, we did a slight amount of red, maybe like 10% of red, slight amount of black. We used four colors. And man, <laughs> it's probably hard to see from there, but it's, and then we, we, we had a gloss coat put on top, two coats of that. So it would help protect it and, and keep it for a long period of time. But man, I tell you what guys, <laughs> it looks so good. Um, it's easy to clean, so 
So that's why I got in my nice little cabinet over there the, the broom and squeegee just for the garage so I can just broom it out, blow it out, squeegee it out, and then it's beautiful and, and uh, like I said, easy to clean. So anyway guys, I'll show you guys the pictures of kind of the process of the whole thing. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, please leave them down below. Um, I'm always trying to add and do different things to this and, and this channel is going to be more about Tesla and, and the tips and tricks about my Tesla and things that I learned. So hopefully you guys are, are, are getting Teslas can learn about it. And, and like I said, I wanted to show something cool with the garage because there's some cool ones out there and I just wanted to kind of have my two cents and show you guys some other options of a small garage uh, that can look really cool. So anyway, hope you guys like the video. And I'll have those other pictures and links down below. Until next time, we'll see you guys. Thank you.